it's it's fun and that's what this hobby's about it. oh gosh yeah and luca will see you in the next video absolutely it's probably about well 10 years ago i bought a sorry everyone <laughs> in fact I, I loaned one of these to rick salvino when he's working on his formula one car and i said yeah it... <laughs> Can I get that back? No, you're not getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot of hard work, isn't it? It is. It is. I had no idea. I wish you'd have told me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. You wouldn't listen to me. You just I was grabbing it. Yeah, I, I watched your build on that Mustang to, to see see what kind of pitfalls were going to come in. So. And really haven't. No, that's what I thought. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Ferrari. Is that a, what's that there, a Ferrari there? Greg, if you got a good eye, uh, you have got an awesome eye. Ah. Uh, 330. Oh, it looks good. I'm trying to dog white. You know, I could come in here and probably, you know, paint a body and go, oh, shit, I got fish eyes in this thing. Yeah, yeah. you know what? I'll carry it out to the old purple pond. Yeah. Drop it off into it, and I'll go and pull another kit, and I'll go, well, let's try this. Exactly. What is that, like the fishing thing? Uh, uh, your worst day model building is, is better than your best day at work, right? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, okay. so true. That, that was something that when I started watching your videos, I really liked your personality. I mean, you don't know nothing about Ed Roth, so <laughs> you, you really, I, at this point, it's time to, you know, back off, I think. But, well, I'm ignorant. I'm just so ignorant. That's right. You're ignorant. <laughs> it, then you go Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good forum to do that you know yeah. and you know and, and to talk models you know any, any oh. type of models you know i, I just like talking styrene period <laughs> yeah we like it we're addicted Oh, I'm up early this morning. Oh, I got my cold coffee. Yeah. This kit. You see it's still sealed. I bought it the, pretty much the minute it hit the shelf over at Andy's. Was really looking forward to this kit. There's been tons of videos on this kit when it came out. So many different renditions of this kit been built. They've come out with another version that had an engine, which is and that little trailer and all that, which I'd like to get, but you know, what a game to play. Give us one without an engine, and then then we gotta run out and buy another one with the engine. But that that's that's excellent marketing. I'm not complaining. I happen to have two of these things and I can't see buying another one, so I guess I live without and I like straight sixes. I would like to have that straight six. So one day I'll get it because I just want that engine. But uh, I have never taken a look at this. But this is not an unboxing because there have been 453 million of them. We're going to do it Lucas E style. And I'm just inviting you guys in because I just kind of feel like finally opening this up after how many years? Two years? And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, mocking up and I don't know bench racing this thing i got some ideas i kind of want to play with and i just thought i'd bring you guys along so we all know this kit this is not a review this is a let's play with i'm just messing around Alrighty, so let's uh, go ahead. You can see, look how dusty it is. Can you see the dust on this thing? It's been sitting on the top of one of my piles that you see in the background when I'm uh, when I'm talking to the cameras and stuff. Sometimes my wall back there. Um, so some dust is collected on it. Yeah, it's been about two years or so. Let's see. Does it have a date on this thing? When did it get sent out to us? It says 2020 there. So yeah, a couple years, man. Wow, instead of dusting it off, I'm just going to take the cellophane off, and we're going to check this out. You're going to get my first reaction. I have, you know, I've seen them built. I have not checked this kit out in the couple years it's been out. It's been, I've had, again, two of them in my possession since they hit the shelves. 
and uh, I always had a plan of doing a certain video. Um, I have an original built up somewhere and I always wanted to do a comparison. I can't find it, so I can't. <laughs> it was another thing that stalled me on this. And I've just decided, eh, that's, that's old news, who cares? Um, wow, that's some thick plastic wrapping there. Uh, round two, I always like, I collect these. I've gotten into keeping these stickers they put on the, I like them. I like that. I'll put that up on my little place I put them. Over there on my piece of furniture there that's holding a whole bunch of my junk up. All right. So, my plan when I first saw this come, come out and why I bought an old built up on eBay years ago, it was a pretty bad shape too. I was doing a lot of work to it. It's probably even in worse shape. I think the last time I saw it, I don't even, I think the roof was almost broken off of it completely. But uh, I know this is a retool. It's This is not a direct um repop of it all you know I, I love wagons i love nova wagons i'm going to show you something here in a little bit that is a work in progress to become a resin body um so years ago uh they kind of popped out a, where i believe the original body went to shambles because years ago AMT felt the need to repurpose this body into like a funny car, the Boss Nova, and then Model King about 20 years ago or so repopped it, and I bought a couple of those just to just to have the long roof. I tried to you know try to convert it back into a kind of a street vehicle, but so it's really cool. I I think this was great of round two to totally retool this body, and I can already see um, as simplified as it is. I think they did a very nice job here because I, I wish I had my original. Um, it was horrific and, uh, under the hood. It, it was really, really bad. That's all new there. That looks so much better. Uh, me, I, I have always wanted to do like a, a, an old tubbed drag car. I love these cars uh, at, at wagons i love wagon drag cars every wagon kit i get i go oh it's going to be tubbed out and be some stock door slammer style you know modified production i love the 70s modified productions these were very popular in that you, you see these running in super stock a ton stock eliminator love those kind of race cars and uh that was my plan for this uh and there they, they were some the real well-known race cars that uh were these things they did really well, just their weight distribution as wagons. So I kind of wanted to build one, always did. Uh, I was very bummed to find that they did this, and I, for some reason I could remember the original one didn't have that. I thought the chrome strip we're talking about. And uh, when you remove, you could sand this off, yeah, no big deal. But underneath, you see this little divot right there? There's another one underneath this chrome strip, and then you'd have to make all that to do it right. And I just hate a chrome strip going down the right down the center uh, side of a race car because you know you're usually putting the names on there and it, it gets in the way of the names and the stickers and all that. So I don't know if I'm going to go that far. It's so much chrome to remove. I, I hate chrome. I don't know why they make these models and have to put the deluxe version of the chrome package on every freaking one. Little little complaint there I have to the model companies. Always got to do the high end version. Always got to do when when most people they want the lower end version because most of us model car builders like to build old hot rods and stuff like that you know and mo the more common ones that were out there not the high ends i digress what i'm doing so there we go we got a cool decal sheet i was uh if you watched my little unpodcast my last one with terry jesse great one if you haven't watched it you need to go check this out I'm sorry i didn't snap but it's still my magic works um, he talked about doing one of these when it came out. AMT personally asked him to. And he said there was some decals in here that are really cool that he used. This UFO search vehicle or whatever. So let's take a look. And I know HPI guy did a, a nice built up of this. And he used yeah, the telephone. So there's like, that's a pretty cool. I like having stuff like that. That's all, that's all nice stuff to have. Yeah, there's the UFO uh, official UFO search vehicle that Terry used. <laughs> that, that those are cool decals. That's 
That's nice to have. Let's just get this out. The chrome, uh, much better, much better grill and everything we've got now. It's it's been retooled. We have now instead of molded on headlights. It's nice to have just a blank out in case you're doing some sort of race car, and you can just leave it like that, like it's blanked out, or you can put the uh, the headlight in there. That looks a lot better than what we used to have to deal with in old kits with uh, molded in chrome headlights. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. Very simple model, which would make for a really quick build. Yeah, but it's nice it has a separate back seat, but you got your front seat molded in. You know, the, the engine blank under there. Yeah, very toyish, simplified. Chassis a little bit better than the old one. Um, but they did make it to where they were planning on coming out with the engine version later. But you know what? Eh, I'm going to hold this off to the side because we're going to have to do a comparison. But I don't even plan on using most of that junk. I got a different idea. Uh, first thing is, if you're familiar with uh, the venerable, wonderful, awesome, beautiful AMT 66 Nova Street Machine, a.k.a. Pro Street. Got one of those chassis right here. That's what will get used. This one I've been kind of modifying for another to fit in a different body, so uh, it's not too bad. I think we'll still get a true idea how that'll all fit, but real quick. Yeah, because this is going to be a tubbed race car. Let's just see if things look like they line up. I also done a lot of work here, so this won't. I don't know what I was doing with this chassis, so I won't be really using it. But hmm, I think it'll. It looks like things kind of line up. The uh, station wagon is probably a longer wheelbase, so let's get a little bit more help here. I happen to have. Sitting off the side here, one of my unfinished projects from many years ago. I was actually going to do kind of a video on this one, so I had it set off the side. I might as well just kind of bust it out. I have this, what was going to be kind of a late 70s uh, drag car, like a modified production. Of course, I hate this. When spindles break, it kills projects for me. But... It's kind of all there, but I think we might be able to... Yeah, it was all there. I don't know how much is... Roll cages out, okay, yeah. This might not work out the way I was hoping. Those, I love those wheels and tires. Um, I was hoping to be able to just pop this chassis in, but I got too much glued on, and I got all that inner structure there. Uh, let's see, probably would, if I was to do this, I would, hmm, it looks like it would probably fit up there, I don't know, I can't pop it in there, probably would, I'll probably just cut all this out and use the stuff from the 66 Pro Street, uh, here's a better way of checking, let's take the bodies, now this, I have a stretched wheel well mind you so and what I do is it helps make this if you ever look at these cars when you do the pro streets the wheel well is still stock and to me this tire and wheel when it's in there just it looks it never looks right you gotta you gotta stretch the wheel well and I was working on it. I like to stretch the wheel well but keep that stock lip I don't just grind it out um, you can see how when you get this centered in there it just looks better if you I don't have an, another body around I don't think let's let's look I might so luckily I happen to have an unaltered body right here so you can see the difference in the wheel wells where I, where I stretch them okay so when you do these this thing sets right about there and I just think that just looks awful because that's actually centered. It sits like right about there when you have a model built. It always makes the wheel and tire look like it's too far back. You altered the wheelbase and it just fills the, the wheel well up so much better. You're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube. But this can be to our advantage seeing that we have a 
little bit of a discrepancy. Let's just take a look. Stock body to stock body. Look at there's a. Uh, uh, that's why I had it sitting on the side. Yuck. Quite honestly, looks like the wheel well on the the wagon is a little bigger. So you could probably mess around with that wheel well a little bit. Front wheel wells are lined up well. Perfect. So I think the um, you could really go for an unaltered stock chassis. Um, let's see. Let's get that where that would be center. Or let's drop this in here. Okay. Where? Oh, good. Look, that's kind of nice. I still can't put it in. I thought that was glued on there. So if that goes right about there, we've got the front looks like it would be centered. So we could probably use an unaltered chassis from the 66 Pro Street to go into this sucker. Let's take this slightly modified uh, whatever I was doing chassis. Let's see how this all fits in there. It looks like just a bit of grinding you would have to do which is good because the the 66 Nova's chassis is a little bit, the tub area, the whole back half area is a little wider but it looks like everything would fit in there. You're just gonna have to do some grinding. I can't, I can't really get it to fit in there but just a bit of grinding, not much take a little off here and a little off here and you could get that in there really good and you could do some cool work here because I always loved how side effect for putting this detail right here of having the bead roll created bead roll up here even though it was never meant to be seen with a little clean up of this uh, ejector pin and cover all this stuff up because these are supposed well you could actually use that it's supposed to be where batteries sit but you want to put a fuel cell right there and you want to block that all off make a floor there so it matches your underside you could really make this work because it's so open inside there I don't know if we can see what it would look like trying to get the body stretched it's just not gonna fit in there totally but you can see how you could have <laughs> you could have a pretty cool look in there can we get the light to shine in there you could really make this look cool it looks like a very easy easy modification here I gotta get back on this baby this was pretty cool uh, every time I open up a box it's been set off the side look at that dashboard there I have the the belts uh, I gotta get back on this I had I have a very cool plan with this it's actually something I've been wanting to get back on but this was the whole look I was going for see look at that those would look great I love this these these type of wheels these were so prominent in in MPC cars and you'll find these in like the grumpy toy Vegas and stuff like that just love these wheels and tires and we'd probably have this this would go really nice right there doesn't look like we really would have to open up that wheel well much what I would probably do is get a chassis all made before I ever do anything to the body and wait till I'm done with the chassis have the wheels and tires on it and it's fitted up there and I can put it up there and see where I need to modify this wheel well because of body lines and stuff on this one, this one you could get away with grinding it and making, giving it look like it's stretched where to keep that body line on the 66, but having that more open takes a little bit of body work. You can see how much, there we go. That's where it is. You can see where I've, I've winded. I actually brought it forward a little more because that's where it needed to be just forward. You don't really have to stretch it. You can see back here, I just kind of ground it out and added some styrene in there to bring back that lip. Still needs a little bit more sanding. It's a little rough still, but uh, I like having that look. I don't like having it just look like it's ground out. You know, I even had to make a little bit of thinning of the plastic there to get the tire to fit in there. Because uh, one thing about these is <clears throat> I've seen uh, great ways of correcting this. Uh, Don Yost did a video there's a huge problem with these 66 Nova that they actually did the rear too wide and it doesn't quite fit in the body so you have to kind of do a little bit of work I've shaved a bit of the the housing down a little shortened it up a bit so they go in farther 
and then I also do a little bit of work here of thinning this all out so that uh, the tires will fit in there and uh, by the way uh, happy new year this this is my Saturday morning I'm actually shooting this very early Friday morning I as we're looking at this I, I, I just got a few things to say is this is my official last video because it is by the time you're watching this this is my Saturday morning video and so it's the last day of 2022 we're gonna put this year in the bag it was a good it was an okay it was a good year a lot of a lot of cool things happen a lot of struggles um, but all in all I gotta say it wasn't that bad of a year for you know, here, us here at the Lucas E Studios and uh, uh, modeling shop and uh, resin casting uh, nightmare factory I love that I <laughs> just keep going thank you all the the channel has grown uh everything's been going so well we get so much great support we have so many great friends and youtube modeling community family out there we've gotten some new ones join i've gotten closer friends with so many of my my buddies out there that we've all become good friends because of youtube um it's just a great modeling community uh we have some great things coming my unpodcast i'm going to be pushing the heck out of these you guys it doesn't get a lot of views and you guys are missing out you are missing out on some really cool model car history and subject especially the last one with terry jesse go back look at my doug white and everybody else. i'm not saying anybody's better than anybody but we're getting some really cool guests that talk about what's going on in the industry or we just talk about model cars or you get some guys who've been in it for so long like terry jesse who wrote for scale auto for 40 years I mean, how is that man not going to have stories? Well, he does. And there are some great ones that you would have never, ever, ever known. If you don't go watch the Unpodcast, you're never, you're never going to I'm shaking everything. You're never going to know. Um, such great. Uh, I mentioned Don Yost. Uh, I, I heard that Don uh, did a video saying uh, that he's been dealing with, I believe, brain cancer. And I just want to give a shout out to him. I don't know him. We've never talked. I don't know if he watches my channel. I watch his. I like Don. I know he's uh, rough around the edges and stuff and offends people. I, I agree with a lot he says. I disagree with some stuff. But I think that guy is an amazing model builder. I respect him. I think he's a... Uh, a little more ton in cheek than people take him serious. I I don't know. I like what he, he makes me laugh. Anyways, uh, Don, if if you're watching or any of you or friends of him watching, let him know. Um, we're thinking about him, and we hope you have a great speedy recover and keep on doing what you do. You're doing great things for the hobby. If you don't know, go check out our buddy Hobby Dude 007. Uh, Old Mark Batson, well, around Thanksgiving time, he did a did a face plant into the concrete and messed himself up real real good. But boy, the the upside of it, and he's healing. And I just talked to him yet the other day. He's doing really well. He's got a positive attitude. He's still healing, but he can't do any model building. Mark out there, I'm glad you're doing better. Everybody, give him the well wishes. Go watch his videos he's been putting out because he's just trying to be creative and he's just having some fun and they're funny and. Uh, he's cracking me up he's cracking everybody up and yes mark i do have hobby knife i am okay i've got all my chunks and just uh to let you know just in case just to be really ready because mommy and daddy let me have two hobby knife it's dangerous around here it's very dangerous around here and you know and then never run with scissors huh. got a little bit different of an attitude to this now looking at the body i love I love the 60s Nova slash Chevy 2, especially these wagons. Oh, I told you I was going to show you something. So when that one came out, uh, I have this master I'm working on. Whew. You see what that is? That's a 66 Nova. A long roof I'm working on. And this roof was from that Boss Nova. And I had to do some work up on here. You see, they had a big hole in the, in the roof because it was a funny car. And... Uh, <laughs> I bought one of those kits just for the roof, just to uh, start working on uh, having this. So yeah, this is a future project for, and it will be a four door. You can see I got that marked off. I don't do two door wagons. I'm not, not in, I'm a wagon purist, unless they came from the factory that way. I'm okay with it. And I'm not even a big fan of those. We're gonna be doing this, I think, this year. I think we're gonna have to do a modified production out of this. I'm, I'm really, now I finally, after how, 
finally getting my hands to hold one and <laughs> sniff it. Yep, I taste it. Tastes great. Round two, you're doing good, guys. I, I like what you do. All right, let's 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 wrap this up. I got some stuff to do, and now I want to get working on this, and I don't need to have a distraction from my GTX. The X. So, what do we say here? We're going we're gonna to sign this year off with that wonderful phrase that I say when we're just looking at my hands playing with my, my slicks is why do we build model cars? That's an easy answer to a very easy question. Because they're fun. Here's the producers.